So, about two weeks ago, I hosted my own photography competition online across the whole country and the responses were absolutely insane. We had over 20 submissions as well as 71 people voting, what's kind of huge. Each vote was counted, calculated and we got our winner, what was Joseph Hurley, with an astounding 19 votes to his name. For this amazing picture, now I was thinking to myself, how can we top it? How can we raise the stakes? What can we do next? I thought to myself, how can I make it more balanced? How can I make it more fair? And how can I improve this? And one of these areas was equipment. Some people are editing in Snapchat, where, like myself, was editing in Photoshop. Fair for people who don't have that equipment. I thought I would level the playing field to make sure it's solely about photography, framing, creativity, in order to win the challenge. It's the 68th episode of the vlog, and today we're having another photography competition with phones. If you've been on the channel for probably a while, you probably hear me bang on so much about smartphones and how great they are, and how they could be the future of film and photography as we know it. If you're watching this, then the likelihood is you're probably watching it on a smartphone or some kind of phone device. These magic screens are absolutely brilliant, and they're getting better and better as the years go by. And low people can't really afford equipment, especially get them at this time so I thought I would only say it so contestants could only use their smartphones so I sent a message around to loads of different people asking for them to participate and the response has been absolutely amazing people are completely up for it and they can't wait to try it out this time around I told my contestants can we have no editing whatsoever it has to be completely raw from the phone but contestants are allowed to use attachable lenses or put anything in front of the screen they can make stuff for the photo but it just has to be taken with a phone and it can't be edited or exported in any way yeah this is this is a challenge all right and of course like last time i will be submitting a photo i will be doing i will be don't worry okay chill out chill i'll also be taking part and i have a little secret weapon this guy see this dude here boom come on focus buddy there we go look at him this is an attachable lens for iPhones. I got this probably about two years back and it was kind of sitting in my drawer until now. And that's not where it ends. See, I'm lucky enough to have an iPhone 11, meaning that I have two cameras on this, one of them being a extreme wide angle and one of them being do your bog standard camera. So for example, this is what it looks like at the moment. And then we can go to wide view it's it's crazy okay it's crazy that i really love the wide view camera on this you see a lot more of the image now you may be wondering if you have a wide angle lens what's the point of using it on a wide angle camera well this is where the fun kicks in what i was saying earlier about creativity and innovation i thought that i would come into play with the extreme 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 wide camera lens so if i attach this to my phone i get this lovely looking basically 180 degree camera and it's very vintage it's very cool obviously i've got clean up the lens a bit and it looks different that's what i'm kind of looking for i want to see stuff that doesn't look like it comes from a smartphone camera and this is what i'm talking about so today i'm going to be trying to experiment with this and see how well i can do in this competition time to go with my day Right, so I didn't get the photo. I didn't get the photo, I couldn't find anything to do. There wasn't really anything there that really interested me, so I'm gonna have to get creative. I have a few ideas what to do, and I'm kind of, kind of running out of time, so I'm kind of stressed a bit, but I think I have a good idea. Hmm, I'm gonna get out of the light, just so I can control it a bit more. Uh, that means you can't see me, goodbye. <laughs> there we go, oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> It's alright. Because there's no editing allowed, I need to get as much dynamic range as I possibly can by using different lights, such as this to this. To this, to this, to this, that uh, doesn't really change much, but you get the principle. This, this is hard, because I, I have a cool place where I want to do it, I have a good idea. It's just that will it look good? <laughs> Let's give it a go, that's the best way to find out. Right, don't fall over. Use move over there. Oh, no. Right, book tripods are the best. Right, let's get this going. This this probably doesn't look much to you yet, but let me see, let me show you what I'm seeing. Or unless I surround myself with stuff. That could work as well. Another idea has just come to mind. This could work. All else fails, go to plants. This is gonna be so weird, but I kinda like it, to be honest. I don't even get the timer back on my phone. Right, it's this. Right, that was the first one. Okay, looks kinda goofy. I, I thought we could do better. I feel like we could do better. That was number two. Let's give it a look. Oh my god, world's better than number one. That's super cool, I love that. Oh wait, I've had a new idea. I've had an idea. Right, okay. Oh, no, 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 I know what I have to do. Right, okay. Let's check this. 
Come on, this is the one. Oh no, just a bit lighter, come on. Right, here we go, this is it. That is the one, let's go. Oh, that's so cool. There we go. That is my photo. No editing, as you can see. Um, so, a few tricks I've done. I used the attachable lens. I used two lights here. And then what I've done, there's a cool little nifty trick you can do with an iPhone. Where if you hold down, so it creates a yellow box. You can drag that down, it changes the exposure and locks it at that space. It's a really cool little trick, especially if you're shooting on an iPhone. I mean, I only found about it like last year. And it is a lifesaver. It's so good. I'm getting so many submissions now. Right, now we have not very long until the submissions should be coming in. We have probably about three hours. And then it's voting time. <laughs> the vote is now live. It is kind of insane. The submissions we've been getting are absolutely crazy. Everyone who submitted, thank you so much. And we've already had loads of votes coming already. It's kind of crazy some of these photos. Like, I'm so thankful. Honestly, everyone smashed it out of the park. We have to give it 24 hours now. And I'll get back to you then when we find out our winner. So, we'll see you then. Whoa, it's now the next evening. It's been 24 hours since I put up the vote, and that means voting is closed. It's stopped. So I've done all the counting, and we actually have a winner. Now, this photo is absolutely amazing. It's so creative and innovative. I mean, the thought process behind it is absolutely incredible. And how it's shot on an iPhone is beyond me. So, first place goes to number three, and that is Tamsin. Woo, congratulations, Tamsin. Uh, that was an absolutely incredible photo. I have no idea how you captured it. So, really well done. That was a really good photo. And in at second place is Dan. Congratulations, Dan. This is an absolutely incredible photo. How you managed to get that selected focus on your cat is absolutely incredible and it is completely beyond me. So, congrats, Dan. And then there's actually a tie in third place and that is between me and Jazz. I imagine you, I'm very surprised. I mean, last time coming from right near the bottom, uh, this time I thought I'd try something different and it, it paid off. Uh, <laughs> thank you for everyone who gave me a vote. But also, Jazz's photo is absolutely insane. I'd have to say this is probably one of my favorites. I mean, with the different colors, it's the subtleness of the colors and how she managed to capture the different light levels, especially in basically no light. It's kind of crazy. So once again, congratulations to Tamsin. Congratulations to everyone who has submitted. All of the photos were absolutely incredible and I can't wait to do another challenge like this and I have something very special in mind. Thank you for watching today. As always, if you want to take part or if you want to participate into these events, or even vote, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link will be down below. Or my name is just max.roach. It's very quick and easy. And also, if this is your first video around here, make sure you hit subscribe and check out my other videos. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are absolutely awful. So just make sure you don't go further back than 2020. That's when it starts getting um, weird. So, without further ado, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow where I have no idea what I'm doing. I literally have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. So, that's the fun of it. That's the fun of the daily vlogs. I'll see you later.